Hello and welcome to another episode of Ray J Reviews, where you get to learn a little bit about what I've been doing lately and hopefully want to get out and do some of these things yourself. Today, I'm going to tell you about LINK, which stands for Lutheran Inner City Network Coalition. LINK is an organization in the Houston area that plants churches and builds community centers for the various cultural and ethnic groups in the region or in the inner city. They were founded in 2002 and they've built quite a few churches since then. It's headed up by uh, Reverend Mark Junkins. He's the executive director. And what is unique about this organization, several things are unique, but what really makes it unique is they, they work with the different ethnic and cultural groups in the area in a certain community. They raise up leaders within that group that actually then run the churches that, are get, that get planted and the community centers that get planted. Last year we, we started new church in churches among uh, Koreans, uh, Chinese, um, all different kinds of African groups, uh, Ethiopians, Eritreans, um, people from Zimbabwe, uh, also um, uh, Liberian, also Nigerians, uh, and several different Hispanic groups. And so there's no way that I or some other missionary could speak all those languages and, and relate to all those different cultures. And what they're doing is not only giving people uh, uh, some help, a helping hand, and building a center and building a church for them, but they're also empowering the people in that community to help themselves and learn to help each other and to trust God. Uh, and they do a lot of things in addition to the church planting and the community centers. They distribute school supplies, they distribute food, um, they have uh, blankets for homeless people, they help people get medical aid, they teach English as a second language. There's all kinds of things that are going on in this, uh, in this organization. And I got to spend some time with some of the volunteers there, and uh, they'll give you their perspective on this organization. Work, 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 work. <laughs> and then a break with summer kids, and then work, 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 and then bed, free time and ice cream. Camp. Summer camp, we like teach them about Jesus Christ and we have fun and play games with them. No, this is my first time. Uh -huh. Here. Uh, we strip some floors and wax them and paint it and uh, put sealer and... Uh. Well, we're taking school supplies to some Liberian refugees and other African refugees in just a, an apartment complex and we're gonna pass them out. We're we? doing projects around here as necessary, painting and cleaning and um, but most of our mission here is to make this place a better place to outreach to the community. Awesome experience. I, I don't even know what the words to express it but you can feel their thankfulness. I mean they really are appreciative and it's really neat to be able to look back at them and say thank you to them for allowing us in their homes. It was just a neat experience. Loved it. You just wonder what else you can do, what other opportunities, how else you can serve. You look around and see the kids and you say, is there, you know, what do they need during the week? Or, or do, they have, do they have a playground? Do they have this? Do they have that? You just, you just, want, to, you just want to do more. Yeah, I want, I want to do more, but my parents are both working full time, so it's kind of hard. It's helping kids get to know God better, and so they have like a better place to go, and that way it looks nicer, so they want to go more so they're not hesitant to go. Reverend Mark Junkins has uh, been at this since 2002 in this organization, but he's also worked in the Houston area with different cultural groups and ethnic groups and different missions and ministries there since about 1993. What he learned was that to communicate with people of a certain ethnic group or a cultural group, you have to have people within that group to truly communicate with them because they they think differently, they speak differently, they worship differently, they're different. And uh, so that's how, they, that's how they work within those communities. And I'll show you the differences. You can see these uh, video clips of various worship services I attended, and, and you'll see the, the wide variety of worship styles. <laughs>
So if you want to get involved, uh, either finan with financial support or prayer support or volunteering right there, there's a huge variety of activities you can get involved in. There's something for everyone. And I encourage you to check out their website and learn more about them. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Please do visit my website, dgwmovies.com, and consider buying some of my movies. That helps support this effort. And I hope you'll come back for some of my other episodes where I give a review of Gospel Lakes Ranch, the Burnt Offering Cooking Crew, and the Texas Renaissance Festival. Until now and then, I hope you can get out and enjoy life. Mm -hmm.